Let's see if we can find out what's going on. What's going on in the truck industry? YouTube, YouTube, and my flat truckers. What is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead, take the opportunity, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything. It is for free. So please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is I got some questions for y'all that maybe y'all can answer for me. I want to know what's really going on out here in the truck industry. I've been watching a lot of people's channel. I've been watching a lot of content. I've been Googling things. I've been searching for things. I just cannot figure out what's going on. I used to could kind of keep track of like, okay, well, this might happen or that might happen, you know, kind of make some predictions. But here lately, I don't know what's going on. Fuel through the roof, um, food through the roof, everything. It seems like it's through the roof except for what I'm being paid. And I know it's what y'all being paid too because, you know, the scale don't change a lot for a lot of us us truckers out here, you know, it goes on an operator, either your lease purchase, you're working for a company, the company probably robbing you blind, you know, stuff to that nature or whatever. But I want to know seriously from you guys, like what is going on? You know, I talked to a couple of my buddies on the phone. We always make our own theories about what we think, you know what I'm saying? Y'all all and heard it, you know, that the agents or the brokers or whatever, that they're double quadrupling and, and dipping into the pot, you know, which means for a lot of y'all that don't know, which means that they find, they see 30 or 300 loads. They grab all of them at one rate. They throw them back on the load for $20, $30, $40 cheaper than what that rate is. Somebody else grab it. Once they grab it or another agent, should I say, once they grab it, then they throw it back on the board for 30, 40, 40, uh, 30, $40, $50 even cheaper than that. So now you're running this load for the bare minimum. And you got people who aren't running the loads. They just sitting at home babysitting it. They making a call to one other person. Quick way to tell is you get on the phone and they say, uh, hold on for a second and let me call and see if the load is still available. Right then you already know. The load done probably been booked out three different times by three different agents four different times by four different agents you know that's a part of the game we all know that but it seems like the rates done being so low to now everybody is trying to dip 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 and it's taken away from the actual person who's out here running these loads and then you got these mega carriers that even if they make 10 cent 25 cent off a load they still making money because they got 10,000 15,000 20,000 trucks you know, versus a guy who got five or 10 or even one. You got something? Yeah. Mr. Jenkins, Mr. Jenkins, how you doing? I'm doing all right, man. How about you? I'm good, I'm good. I got a quick question for you, man. First of all, how long have you been in the trucking industry? Maybe a little older, about 20. A little 20s, about 22. 22 years. 21, so. Okay, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just say 22. 20, 22 years, 20, somewhere higher. Okay, so I basically said that to say you pretty much know your stuff when it comes down to, you know, all of this trucking stuff for the viewers and everything, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want them, want them to think that I'm just dealing with, you know, a fly-by-night or somebody who haven't been out here or somebody that you know really don't know what they're they're talking about but currently you own your own uh business and uh you got numerous amount of trucks correct yes sir okay okay but what i wanted to ask you is and my question what i'm trying to get the viewers to to chime in on what do you think that's going on in the trucking industry right now? Because I have a lot of people that's been calling me, talking about the rates, talking about the brokers, talking about the agents, the fuel. I mean, everything. 
What is your take on what's going on right now? What do you think? Or what do you foresee? Well, um, my take is <laughs> is what it is. It's, it's bad right now. It's low. Um, it happens so often. Um, people just just starting up. It's extremely rough on them because they don't have the relationships or they ain't, you know, a lot of people bought trucks here in the last year or so or two when everything was through the roof. Um, some people got in right before it got stupid and bought a truck. Um, so not to be insensitive to every person's circumstance, but it's just, it depends on who, who you are and how rough it is. Right. Um, but it this this always happens, you know. Um, people back in two thousand eight, uh, two thousand and twelve, thirteen, and there. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, they stopped. I can't remember what years it was, but they stopped making three foot trailers uh, for for at least a year. Um, there's a, I can't, you know, I'm kind of on the spot right here. I, I would have to do the research, but. I know for a fact they stopped making trailers for a year. A lot of people don't even realize that that that's how slow the economy was at the time. Um, And um, I didn't know that until I went to go buy a used trailer probably about seven years ago. And um, and I noticed the skip in the the date. And the man was like, oh, yeah, they they ain't making trailers during this time. The economy was so bad. Right. Um, So it it happens every so often. Um, It's a roller coaster. Right, right. Up and down, up, down, up, down. So yeah, we we on our, we we heading down rapidly. <laughs> right, right. So so do you do you see it getting better or do you think that just this is just gonna be the new normal? I mean, what do you foresee? Oh yeah, it'll get better. Um, the thing, the name of the game is just surviving until it does get better. But yeah, it'll get better. Right, right. And what about what about uh like fuel prices and stuff like that? Do you see? The fuel prices and stuff getting better, or do you think they're just stuck? This is that's the new normal, or how do you how do you? Well, they're almost, in my opinion, back to normal. Right. Um, I uh, the pump price is not normal, um, but there's a mom and pop spot here and there and yonder. <laughs> right. Um, if you know. <laughs> Your, 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 your freight lane, you know what I mean? That's right. Um, if you leased on with carriers, um, Landstar, Snyder, uh, all the, like anybody's got multiple trucks they can pull together. I mean, I know guys buying fuel, um, 330 to 350 at a pilot. Um, and before the pandemic, three, I mean, we're not before the pandemic, during the pandemic, it was dirt cheap fuel. I got down to a dollar 65 in this area. Uh, mm-hmm. but before, this inflation, three dollars and twenty five cent. That was the going rate. That was pretty decent. Right, right. You know, I bought I bought a lot of fuel at that at that price. Um, so you can almost get that now, um, even with the discounts I get as a nobody. Um, uh, I can get three. I might. We, I think we averaging about three eighty a gallon right now. Is what we've been buying this week. Right. So it's it's close enough to where I'm scared they're gonna come back down on the money, you know. So that's how the cheap the fuel is is getting, you know, that, that word cheap. I I use that I don't use that loosely, uh, but that's how much let me let me rephrase it, that's how much the fuel is coming down. That right. I'm scared they're gonna cut back on the money. Right, right. Okay. Well, as you guys know for the viewers, you know, this is one of my confidants and one of my mentors. You know, he has taught me the game. He has taught me um, from when I first started our business, me and my wife, when we first started our business. Um, he taught me pretty much everything that I needed to know, you know, jumping out there. You know, so those are some, some of the theories that we come we have come about and you know that we talk about but i would love to know what y'all what some of y'all theories are i mean you know especially with the fuel like when is this fuel gonna go down i never seen the fuel you know this 
the rates of a few this high for this long. You know, it usually goes up and then it comes back down. But here lately, I don't know. It just seemed like it's staying way, way up. Is it because they ushering in the electric vehicles? Are they trying to change the game altogether? And I know my last two videos that I dropped, you know, if you go back and you check out the last one that I dropped on uh, yesterday, um, you'll see why I was saying, like, these uh, uh, billionaires are basically just going around and buying up things. They know they're not going to make no money off of them, but they're keeping it from the other billionaires that they don't want to make no money off of them. So it's like, oh, well, I see this company right here struggling. Let me go buy it before so-and-so and so go buy it. And they just, it's just like they're just swapping hands with things. You know, smaller company, used to be a great company. A lot of the small truck stops. Great people, great service, loved you when you come in, knew you by your first name, all of that good stuff. And then the next thing you know, here come a mega company, buy them out, and then throw their name on it. And they get a whole bunch of people in there who just there for a paycheck, you know. So the game is changing, even with all the way down to parking. Like, the DOT know that we don't have any parking out here. They know this, that we don't have any parking out here. But yet and still, they'll come along and bother you about this and bother you about that. And it's like, okay, well, how you going to throw me out here? And you know that this is a problem, but yet and still, you still want to uh, chastise me for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't. I have never seen it this bad before. The ports seem like they have dried up. I mean, you ride past there now. It used to be stacked with containers. Now, hardly any work going on at all. I got a lot of buddies of mine that, you know, pull out of the port or was pulling out of the port. You know, some of them still are, but the work is slim to none, you know? I got some 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 of my friends that used to go cross country, you know, east coast to the west coast, back from the west coast back to the east coast. Now, they five or six stops in between, you know, and then everything seemed like it's heavy, like they're trying to put 10 loads on one truck, and then they want to give you $700 to take it 1,500 miles. That's just an example. I'm just talking shit. Or just talking junk. Well, my bad, YouTube. But y'all understand. I guess y'all get what I'm saying. I hope like I hope y'all get what I'm saying. But I don't know. I mean, a lot of people been calling me and saying, hey, you know, run away. Hey, what's going on, man? You know, you usually have some answers or whatever. And like now, I just don't have no answers for them. I don't know what to tell them no more. You know what I'm saying? So, if y'all know, if y'all got an idea, or I just would love to hear y'all theory, drop it in the comment section below, man, for the rest of me and the rest of the other flat truckers that's out here. You know what I'm saying? So that they can kind of get a grasp on what's going on. Do you think the game is going to pick back up? Do you think it's just time to get out of trucking altogether? Do you think it's time to let the younger generation have it? I mean, like, sell all your equipment and then move on and try to start something else? I mean... I don't know, you know, I'm looking for answers myself. Maybe y'all can, you know, share this video with some of the the drivers that you talk on the phone with daily or that you discuss these things with daily. And maybe y'all done came up with, you know, some kind of idea of what's going on. But make sure you share the video. Thank y'all for all the new subscribers. Thank you for the ones that's been throwing likes on the videos. Hey, man, let me know. Put it in the comment section. Let us know. Put it in the comment section. The whole Flair gang, whole Flair nation, and let us know what is going on in the trucking industry. I don't know. But anyway, till next time, Runaway Child, and we are out!